Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to share, uh, well, what I did was go ahead and finish this journal. <laughs> it was so much fun. I just uh, went ahead and finished it. So I think it's finished. So I'm going to do a flip through, but I wanted to show you a couple things first. Let's see. I pulled out, this I didn't show you in uh, my video yesterday where I was showing you everything I was using. So I pulled out this little basket. This is a little basket I keep in my craft room that I bought at Dollar Tree a long time ago or a couple years ago when I first set up my uh, craft room in here and was organ I was organizing things. And these are little, and this basket is little bits and pieces that I, I either find or cut out. And so I got to go in here and pull out some fine little bits and pieces for this journal. I just wanted to... Because, um, I mean, there's some vintage but there's some things like this I've cut from a card. <laughs> Just some fun stuff that, you know, you, you have to have the right journal to use it in. So it's a little sloth, a sloth hanging from a tree. And I cut that from a card, you know, little pieces of cards and just little words and things from wherever. Uh, just, you know, all kinds of little things. So I pulled that out and got to use some of those. And I put a bunch of those in the goodie bag, which I already have ready um, for this to go along with this journal in this pretty bag. <clears throat> I thought it kind of matched. Um, the journal is made, if you remember from yesterday's video, from a My Little Pony comic book. Uh, comic book. And it is has these colors, as you can see, uh, pinks, uh, kind of uh, bluish, uh, minty green almost. Uh, all the different pinks and purples and it just has a lot of pretty colors here's the back where it has the sonic um, hedgehog I guess advertisement uh, so anyway I felt like a little kid making this journal it was so much fun I love working on with the bright colors and the comic book really nice quality comic book and I used some of this ribbon oh that was another thing I was going to show you I was at Walmart today I doing my little grocery shopping and I always go through, you know, the craft area, of course, right? So they had baskets of ribbons they're clearing out. They had a 10 cent basket, 50 cent basket, a dollar basket. Uh, I think they had a dollar 50 back basket, two dollar baskets, and three dollar baskets. So, which basket do you think I looked in? <laughs> I, of course, went through the well, I went through the 50 cents and the dollar. And, but I didn't buy any 50 cents or a dollar because I bought all of these from the 10 cent basket. So I figured, wow, if I get 10 ribbons, that will be $1. So I looked at them and I said, hmm, how many yards are on here? Is it worth 10 cents? Of course it is. But anyway, I had to check it out. Like this one has six yards. This one has 10 yards. So a lot of ribbon here for 10 cents each. So I counted how many did I get? I got 16 foot so one dollar and 60 cents and they're all colored they had some grays some like um, a couple of shades of like medium gray I didn't get the grays I didn't know if I would use the grays but I got all of these pretty colors <laughs> and um, you know I figured I would use them for tie closures I would use them for tags and I even sometimes use these for when I'm wrapping up an order for my Etsy and I want to put a pretty ribbon around to finish it off I use ribbons like that sometimes so I knew I knew I would use them and 10 cents for a 10 yards of ribbon is well worth it you know really well worth it so I just cleared that basket out and I hope I'm hoping they fill it up again with the 50 cent ribbons and I can get some more next week it's just I you know I can use it so why not uh, okay so let's do our flip through uh, here it is. It's uh, it's all the details are in my listing. It's already in my Etsy, but I would say five and one quarter inches wide by nine. And there's uh, plenty of pages in here. I think 64 if you count fronts and backs. So let's just flip through and see how fun she is. <laughs> so uh, here's a pocket here in the front. I put the journaling cards in here like I showed you and then I'll just flip this is a flip out and this is a pretty pink page here's a belly band that I decorated and there's a couple of journal journaling cards here actually there's three 
So lots of room for someone to get this. If there, this was your first junk journal or journal or your, you know, 50th, <laughs> this would be just a fun journal to do whatever you want. Write, draw. There's some car stock in here that you could paint on. Uh, glue, collage, just whatever. So like here's a nice writing page with some a pink with lines. And you know, all these types of pages are from the comic book. I use the whole comic book in here. And, oh, I have a little tassel paper clip that I have. I paper clip to the outside here, and it matches a little pink uh, kind of leathery uh, dangle here uh, that I uh, put right there. I thought that matched, and it was so cute, and I had those, and I haven't been using them. So here's a pocket here where I put a journaling card. That was from that scrap of paper I, you know, showed you. A couple of scraps of the pink and blue paper. And then um, some of the scraps I tried to put in here from the comic book that I cut off, the comic book pages. I thought maybe someone would like to cut out, like this is a cute one right here. I was going to glue this down, but I thought I'd let someone else glue it down. Whoever gets this, a cute little pictures of the little ponies there. So, you know, stuff like that is fun to put wherever you want instead of me putting it down somewhere for you, gluing it down. Whoever gets this can choose where to put those things and what to do with them. So here, this is a couple of pieces from that uh, paper pad where I made little flip ups to do whatever in here. And then there's pockets on the back. So there's a little drilling card in that one and a little drilling card in this one. And these are little tiny drilling cards that I had in that basket I just showed you. And some of those are in the paper bag too, the goodie bag. Let me just show you how cute these are. This is so sweet on this side, and then they're decorated on both sides. It's like graph paper over here, and it's very light, so I'm sure you can't probably see it in the in the camera, but these are decorated on both sides, and they have a little banner right there. So those are super cute. I've had those for a long time, and I'm glad I get a chance to use them here. So there's a little pocket behind these, little flip-ups. Okay, a little side pocket over here where I put this pretty card, which I thought, you know, the bright colors. I was kind of looking for things with bright colors that I could, you know, maybe I don't always get to use, and I got to use them in this journal. Uh, two envelopes to have fun with, a red one and a pink one. So those are in this pocket. Oh, uh, I, before I forget, the outside here, I did end up sewing. I said I didn't know if I was going to sew around, and it wasn't coming up or anything. I didn't have to, but I just wanted to, just for my peace of mind and security that I know. It's good and down here all I used ended up using white thread with a straight stitch all the way around this front and back cover here. So very secure. We've got some black cardstock here with a flip up piece and that's glued on washi tape to keep that down, that hinge. Here's a little flip up here which I did put a little decoration on. It says be kind and be mine, <laughs> little banner. And then these were pieces I had in my, in that little basket, these two pieces right here. This one says celebrate. This one, let's see, it's white on the back. And this one says born to be wild. <laughs> so it's just some cute little pieces to have fun with. And this was a little piece from the scrapbook paper kit from the journaling cards that I put, a, uh, cut apart. And some of my tie dye paper here, which is a flip out. And those, any of these flip outs can be glued down if they want, if you somebody wanted to and make a little side tuck and you can do it either way. If you don't want it here, you can turn it around and fold it on the other side. So you've got options there. Blue paper with lines. And this is just some miscellaneous paper that I found in my, uh, vintage, you know, thrifty tra uh, travels <laughs> adventures. And I put a piece of that, a couple pieces of this in here and here's one. And that's my tie-dye paper. All this bright color paper that you're seeing is my tie-dye paper. I did put a beautiful piece of purple in the middle here, the tie-dye paper. And so we're on the back half now. And so these are all the backs, you know, halves of the papers I've already shown you. So we'll kind of go a little quicker here and just let you see what's back here. Here's a pocket, inside pocket here, where I put a, I tried to go through my ephemera and find some fun pieces to put in here, this is a little Curious George card that I received in Happy Mail from my friend Maria. And a journaling card. 
And see, this is blank that you can put anything you want on here. And it, if you notice the uh, colors, how they pop on the black. I just love working with black cardstock. It's so, so pretty when you get done with it. A uh, little pocket here. This was pl uh, plain, kind of a lot of plain stuff, text right on the side of this pretty page here. So I did make a pocket for some color there. And then you can always come back and glue something down there or whatever you want to do. Writing space, you could even put this here. See, stuff like that, really fun and then write on that or you can just put pictures there whatever you want to do lots of space here's some more white here's some white space you can do something here and you can glue this as a this is a paper bag that i thought the color matched and so see it's just a paper bag that you can glue down somewhere if you want or do whatever so that's in there a couple of journaling cards there and here we go. The rest of the... I put a flower... I put two tags in here. Where's the other one? I thought I put a butterfly tag in here. Did we already pass it? Oh, maybe it's maybe it's coming up. That's, what it's, that's what's happening. So this is a flower tag. I just thought it matched. And it's got a string there. And it's held on by this little pom-pom paper clip right here. Isn't that pretty? And then this is a flip-out page. And then here's the back cover with an inside pocket here. Here's the butterfly tag I was looking for. Isn't she cute? And that's double-sided to do whatever you want with. And journaling cards in here too. You can see the pretty back cover is covered with a piece uh, page from the, from the comic book. So I think this was so fun to make and also came out super cute. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And um, so I would like to make some more, but we'll see how this one goes, if it sells or not. <laughs> you know, I don't want to make 10 of them if nobody wants them. So, you know, but I would think I would want it if I was looking for a journal. And I don't know, I think I might be just a big kid or something, but <laughs> I love it. So uh, I will, we will see how it goes. And if it sells pretty quick, I will make some more. And I, my next one, I would like to make, because um, this one turned out kind of girly, you know, like because it's, you know, the colors and My Little Pony. I'd like to do one of the Star Wars ones and uh, maybe a DuckTales, I think, you know, for variety and something different, you know. I don't want to do all My Little Pony right away. I'll do more Little Pony if somebody wants more than one. I will be glad to make some more, you know, I have plenty of stuff here to make more of whatever so <laughs> so I'm ready so let me know if you want more than one or if you want a Star Wars or you know I showed you in the last video everything I have so the Disney ones are mostly DuckTales and uh, just fun stuff there and I might even break into the vintage ones I don't know I, I, I probably would do it if somebody asked me to, you know, just on my own. I don't know if I'll, I'll break into those, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll see you later. Happy crafting.